KPAG family and friends, thank you for joining me for week number two of our 40 days, a journey with Jesus, to Jesus, to the cross, uh, to the resurrection, as we prepare our hearts in this Lent season uh, for Easter. And today's devotion comes from Matthew chapter 4. And before we get into that, it's important for you to understand that right before this, Jesus is baptized in the Jordan. And as he comes up out of the water, God audibly speaks over Jesus and says, This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. What you have to understand is, as we get into the temptation of Jesus, we are going to see that the main goal of the enemy in these temptations was to come against Jesus' identity with his Father, his Heavenly Father. It was to break that trust of relationship. It was to get Jesus to do it Jesus' way, not God the Father's way. And it's no different today where the enemy tries to come at you, come at me, and tries to twist God's word and try to convince us to live life the way we want to live life, the way we think we need to live life, to do it our way, not God's way. And so let's learn from Matthew chapter 4, walk through the sequence of temptations and grow from it. It says, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. So God is taking Jesus to this place of wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. That was a supernatural fast that was taking place. And the tempter came to him and said, if you are the son of God, catch that, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus says, it's not important for me to fulfill my hunger right now. It's important for me to obey God's plan for my life. It's not about me filling my belly. It's about me filling my heart. It's about obeying the word of God and feasting on that, knowing that God will see you through. And then the devil took him to a holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down for it is written, the enemy keeps trying to use God's word. Understand he did this in the garden with Adam and Eve. Did God really say? He's always trying to twist the word of God. But, but he says, he will command his angels concerning you and on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against the stone. And Jesus said to him, again, devil, it's written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Jesus was saying, I'm not gonna have this nonsense. I'm not gonna test my relationship with my heavenly father that way. That is a foolish thing to do. I don't have to prove God's love for me by throwing myself off a building and, and, and you know, God catching me, okay? That's not what God has put me on this earth to do. He says, I'm not going to do that. And so the enemy then takes him to a very high mountain and shows him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory and says to him, all these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. And understand, the enemy is the God of this age. He's the prince of this world. Jesus understood there was authority and control that, that the enemy had, but the mission of Jesus was to take that authority away from Satan. And there'll be one day when every knee shall bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. All the nations are going to bow at Jesus' feet. He did not, he did not have to bow to the world system or to the enemy himself to have authority and to have the love of God, his heavenly father. He said this instead. He said, be gone, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you Sir, it's so important to do the plan that God has for our lives and not to be distracted by the temptations to do it our way. I'm so thankful that Jesus was not distracted from the mission to do ministry. To, this is the beginning of his ministry, ministry where he walks the earth for three years and it's all in preparation for the cross. It's all in preparation for him to die on the cross for our sins to be raised again on the third day. And because of that, we have great victory. Jesus was faithful to the mission and you and I can be faithful to our mission as well. 
in our service, in our relationship to God Almighty, our Heavenly Father. God bless.